something magical can often occur when we combine what, perhaps on the surface, might seem as very different styles that don't necessarily have much to do with each other, but when we combine them in order to create something new, something compelling, that is musical fusion, and it's one of my very favorite things to explore. Greetings, music lovers. Rick Ferguson, rickfergusonmusic.com. It's wonderful to see you. Thank you for joining me in this exploration of a particular example of musical fusion, the magic of musical fusion. I would like us to explore one particular piece by one of my favorite Latin American composers, Eddie Mora Bermudez. Eddie Mora Bermudez, born in 1965 in San Jose, Costa Rica. He studied violin and also composition at the State University in Costa Rica and then later at the Tchaikovsky Conservatory in Moscow. He is the winner of a number of composition awards from the Costa Rican Cultural Ministry and also several Latin Grammy awards. So, you know, he is a very, very uh, well-recognized composer and very well-represented composer. His music is, is played literally all over the world and I myself have been fortunate enough to play and record this piece that we're going to be listening to in this video as an example of musical fusion. Eddie is a very active teacher of violin, of chamber music, of composition at the University of Costa Rica in San Pedro. He was the co-founder of Camerata Latino America in 1995 and has served as artistic director of Sinfonica Heredia since 2003 in Costa Rica. Do bear in mind, at this point, Eddie has composed over 1,000 pieces, and of course he's still going strong. The majority of his works up until this point have been for various chamber ensembles and orchestra. He does have some vocal works and songs, and also a little bit of work for the stage, but he is so very gifted and adept at working with with instrumental ensembles of all sizes and I just find his music to be so compelling. I would like to focus on one of his works entitled Retrato 6 and this was a piece that was commissioned in 2007 by the Chicago Clarinet Trio. At that time the wonderful Larry Combs, longtime principal clarinetist of the Chicago Symphony, Julie DeRoche, such a significant pedagogue right now and my very dear friend Wagner Campos who I, I recorded another album with uh, featuring music of uh, another South American composer, uh, Carlos Guastavino. And so I do have a special fondness for music from, from Mexico, Central America, South America. One of the reasons being is that the, the perceived borders between various musical styles tend to be much more porous with composers in this part of the world and I just love that because it allows for so much creativity and it allows for the creation of really unique pieces and that's certainly the case with Retrato 6. Retrato 6 is scored for three clarinets, one of the clarinets doubling on the bass clarinet during a portion of the piece double bass, percussion, and piano. And it's also featuring Bradley Oplin, double bass, Fred Salvaggio, percussion, and it's a great percussion part. And the percussionist is extremely busy during this piece, and then myself on the piano. You've got elements of, of jazz, you've got elements of salsa and, and other Latin American you know, dance-derived rhythms. You've got uh, a fugue, uh, toward the end of the piece, you have improvisation, and you'll hear in this recording uh, an extended improvisation by Larry Combs, which is absolutely fabulous. I just love this so much. It is such an incredible uh, example of within the scope of one 11 or 12 minute piece, 
how we can traverse such a fascinating musical landscape and move from style to style with such ease. It is such uh, well-written music, and it was a lot of fun to be a part of. Uh, it was recorded in 2008, premiered, I believe, in that year as well, if I'm getting my timeline correct, at the International Clarinet Conference in Kansas City, Missouri, and it is available on Albany Records. And the title of the album is just Chicago Clarinet Trio, and it's a wonderful uh, compendium of music for three clarinets and uh, and then some some larger ensemble music with the Retrato Six. So do search that album out on Albany Records. You'll be very glad that you that you have this uh, wonderful recording. With this particular piece that that Eddie wrote for this ensemble, um, it it is so compelling. I've never been a part of a piece like this, and I've played a lot of music from from Mexico, Central, and South America, and it was just simply so much fun because it is so incredibly creative, and there are uh, like wonderful colors that are being created, especially uh, between the three clarinet sounds, and it's exploring very much uh, the the high high registers of the clarinets, but then balancing that with with the bass clarinet, and then uh, creating richness with what's going on with uh, a fabulous bass line in the double bass, such creative percussive percussive writing going on, and then uh, the the piano really providing um, a, a little bit more texture not only in terms of rhythm and harmony, but then also filling in very subtly with some melodic material that, uh, that counterbalances what's going on in the clarinets. It's a wonderful, wonderful piece. So let's listen to this. Uh, as I said, this is not a short piece. It's about 11 or 12 minutes, but it goes by so quickly. So fasten your seatbelts and let's listen to Retrato 6 by Costa Rican composer Eddie Mora Bermudez. Enjoy!
isn't that a fabulous piece of music? Uh, and you know, when are you ever going to really hear music for that specific combination of instruments? Uh, I want to thank Eddie for writing it. I want to thank the members of the Chicago Clarinet Trio for allowing me to be a part of the project. And I would very much recommend that that you search out music if the idea of musical fusion appeals to you at all. Do search out music from uh, from this part of the world. Uh, because the composers are so incredibly creative with how they deal with with these elements of combining uh, seemingly disparate uh, forms and genres, and I just love it. Uh, if you have any particular questions about uh, you know suggested pieces or whatever, uh, please include those in the comments. Subscribe, like and let me know what you're interested in. So thank you for joining me. This has been a real pleasure to share this with you. Be well, take care, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>